zero and liftoff of the Delta rocket with opportunity, a chance to explore and unlock the secrets of our neighboring planet. When the rover Opportunity lifted off aboard a Delta rocket in 2003, no one dreamed it would be more than 15 years later that they'd finally say goodbye. Within days of touching down on the Red Planet, Opportunity was sending back pictures from the Martian surface and providing some answers to that big question, whether there was ever enough water to support life there. We have concluded that the rocks here were once soaked in liquid water. And still Opportunity wasn't done, plowing on across Mars, exploring the craters on its surface, and only falling silent eight months ago, an intense dust storm blocking the sunlight from its solar panels. The messages from Mission Control went unanswered. It's an emotional time. And NASA has finally given up Opportunity for dead. You know, when this little rover landed, the objective was to have it be able to, to move 1,100 yards and survive for 90 days on Mars, 90 souls. And instead, here we are 14 years later, after 28 miles of travel, and today we get to celebrate the end of this mission. And liftoff. Where rovers like Opportunity led, others will now follow. Space agencies in Europe, Russia, China, the Middle East are all planning Mars missions. And others have more ambitious ideas. Elon Musk and his SpaceX engineers want to send a rocket with a human crew to Mars by 2024 with the aim of establishing a self-sustaining civilization there. Not to be outdone, Donald Trump has offered NASA unlimited funds to put humans on Mars. However much any of that is possible will be down to the work of rovers like Opportunity. And if there's sadness among the scientists, there's also gratitude and recognition that Earth's longest-serving ambassador to Mars answered the biggest question of all. Greg Milam, Sky News, Los Angeles.